Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I want to show you my completed pages for March 2024. So I will clean up my desk and let's get started. Okay, uh, let's get started with the book I am focusing on in uh, 2024. So I'm doing um, two pages a month uh, in Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. This is the Dutch edition. And the first page I did was this one. Um, okay. Um, this was done with... Um, I used oil pastels in the background. Um, so I just blended it with a blending stump. So no mineral spirits or anything um, to blend. Then the hair is based with Derwent Inktense with a little bit of pencil on top. And the highlights are done with white Posca. Um, the crown is completely done with Prismacolor pencils. The black is um, a black fine liner. And um, I used some glitter glue for the glitter. Um, the gems are based with water-based markers and some pencils on top. The face is based with uh, chalk pastels, so, so uh, soft pastels, and some polychromos pencils on top. The eyes and the lips are also done with polychromos pencils. And then the, um, the black... Um, blouse and the ribbon is done with the direct intense spells pencils and uh, for the bow i used some pencils on top um and that's it all the rest is uh, actually a little bit uh, pencils on top but i used a lot of uh, materials and i used uh, a lot of glitter glue for some sparkly bits on the uh on the accents of the page so this took me quite a while to do but i'm very happy with the ending result um, so yeah that was the first one and then the second page i did is this one and uh, i didn't know what to, i didn't uh, know what to do with the page so i saw like a new trend on instagram and they based everything with uh, watercolor uh, paints and then outlined the black they uh, go over the black lines with a white pen so i thought okay let's do that but instead of using watercolor paints i used inks um it were just some cheap inks i bought in the action store um, I sprinkled some uh, metallic paint on top of it and I framed the flower um, with the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic in green with a blue shimmer and the white is totally done with a Posca pen. So a very easy page but I really didn't know how to tackle this flower and what to do with the background. So here we go, we tried this. So these are the two pages I did uh, this month and um, the two pages I'm going to do next month hopefully are these. And um, this one is a body color with Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, so if it works, we are going to do one page and if everything goes well, maybe the second page. She did this one in her first copy, but apparently she wants to do it again. So yay me. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know how to tackle these pages yet. We will see. Um, but these were my first coloring pages uh, this month in uh, Juwelenkistje. It's Jubilee Box by Hannah Carlson. Then I did a page in Entre les Crépuscule et Lobe. I think it was uh, in English between dusk and dawn. It is a coloring book by Maud Lamouen. Um, these are, I have a flip through of this book on my uh, channel if you are interested. Um, but these are actually a lot of uh, portraits. Um, but I wanted to try a new challenge uh, for myself. 
Um, so we have uh, an Instagram body color group with some Belgian colorists and uh, we pick like uh, a challenge every month. And this was a monochromatic color palette. So, okay, it's not something I gravitate towards um, a lot. Uh, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of a challenge. And then I saw the YouTube channel of Sapphire Colors. Um, and she uh, did like the coffee splotch effect challenge. And I wanted to yeah, do both challenges in one. So um, I chose this book because it has good quality paper. It's spiral bound. Um, it's single sided. Um, and the only thing I did was take a mug of uh, coffee and I just splattered uh, some coffee over the page. Didn't do anything with it. It just went freely all by itself. I um, used some masking tape so it didn't run in the spiral bounding. Okay, so you have to let it dry for, I don't know, uh, 24, 48 hours. Um, and then you have to outline the coffee stain with uh, a black fine liner and you have to color everything in the stain. So everything outside, you don't have to color it. And inside the stain, uh, you can color it. Uh, so because it was already a brownish color, my monochromatic color palette was brown. So I'm actually very happy with this page. Um, I used... Um, so the coffee stain was my lightest color. Then I used two polychromos for the middle tone and the dark tone and a white Posca pen and one glitter gel pen. That's actually everything I used on this, um, on this page. So I um, accentuated a little bit of uh, some detailing in a glitter gel pen and all the rest is just done with coloring pencils. I think this took me like two hours. It went very quickly. It's very fun. So I advise you guys to try this. Um, yeah, take just a single sided book and maybe something you are not gravitating towards to color, maybe something with a, a, a wallpaper page or something um, and just try this. Um, I will link the YouTube video of Sapphire Colors I watched and she did it with a portrait. So it is very, very pretty. I was not um, very confident to do that with the portrait. So I just wanted to do my first page in this book. So the next one is definitely going to be a portrait. So this was my uh, book Between Dusk and Dawn by Maud Lamoine. Uh, the next page I did is a monthly body color with Christina's Art Corner. Uh, we bought this book, Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls Pocket Size Edition by Hannah Lynn, uh, pretty much um, at the same time. So um, we chose a, choose a page, uh, one each month, and we do a body color together. So um, this month I had to choose the picture. And the one I chose was this one. Uh, so this is completely done with um, alcohol markers, um, a white gel pen and some glitter gel pen. And just a little bit of coloring pencils for the cheeks and for the um, eye makeup. Um, I used some glitter gel pen on the border, uh, a little bit uh, on the details of the skirt. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So this was uh, a color palette and uh, yeah, pretty happy how this one uh, came out. Um, I will put Christina's uh, version on the left side of uh, this screen. I really like how she tackled um, this page. Mine is very limited and she just used every color she has. And um, yeah, I, I really like how she tackled it. Um, especially like she did like a, on this side, a rainbow effect. I really like that. So it gives a lot of uh, color on her page. 
So thank you, Christina, for this body color. And this was a sweet and simple Whimsy Girls Pocket Size Edition by Hannah Lynn. Uh, the next book I colored in was uh, Betoverende Aarde by Manny Chatsi Panagiotou. It's Enchanted Earth in English. And the page I chose, it was my first page in this book, um, was this one. Um, okay, so I used um, oil pastels in the background and I used some um, mineral spirits to blend out um, the colors um, and then I used water-based markers pretty much for everything as base. I used some polychromos on top. I used a lot of white uh, Posca to give some highlights and to outline the water and the sparkly bits in the background. And I used uh, a metallic gel pen on this golden border here um, in the posting stamp. I hope the shine is a little bit, the light catches it a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. The background is maybe a little bit too colorful, maybe for everything. I don't, I'm not sure about the yellow in it. I'm not sure about the, about the blue, the transition, but it gives color. So um, this was a color palette as well. Um, so yeah. I'm pretty happy with uh, how this one came out. So this was my first page in Betoverende Aarde by Manny Chatsi Panagiotou. Uh, then I did a page in uh, Symphony of Cute Animals by Kanoko Egusa. And this was a body color. Um, so like I mentioned, I um, discovered a new YouTube channel, Sapphire Colors. Um, I will put her YouTube channel in the comment section below by the way um, and I asked her if she wanted to do like a body color because Kanoko Igusa is one of her uh, top 10 favorite artists and uh, it was like since October since I colored in this book um, and I asked her to do if she wanted to do a body color and she agreed um, so the time I am filming this I haven't received her version of this page um, so I cannot give any comment about uh, what she did, but I will put her page on the left side of the screen if I am receiving it uh, before the 1st of April. Um, so for me, I used alcohol markers. Yes, I use alcohol markers in this book. I am sacrificing um, a page behind because this paper is very uh, challenging for me. Water-based mediums are not working very well. So if I'm not going to base some elements, I'm not going to reach for this book. So I rather do 10 pages in this book than none at all. Uh, so I based everything with alcohol markers um, and um, I went over it with uh, Prismacolor pencils. Prismacolor pencils work very well on this book, by the way. Um, I used some uh, white Posca for the highlights, um, so I used a um, glitter gel pen just here in the middle of the purple flowers, the orange is uh, a glitter gel pen, and I used um, some uh, soft pastels uh, just a little bit around the flowers and here. Um, I didn't know what to do with the background, so I um, asked my um, yeah, followers on Instagram what they were going to do. And V uh, from Coloring at V's here on YouTube, she suggested um, to do a beige color. And I actually thought, okay, it's very soft. soft, let's go for it. And it actually is, uh, the, the effect is pretty much, um, it's very well. Um, so if, if it were, everything was blank, it was a little bit too pale, but I didn't want to do a full background. So soft pastels are very good just to give a little bit of color on the page. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one. This was also a color palette. Um, yeah, really like it. I, I am a little bit in the spring coloring mood lately. Uh, I'm done with all the winter um, pages right now. So this was uh, Symphony of Cute Animals by Konoko Egusa. 
Then I did finally a page in Dromevanger by Thomas Leftomic. Um, not bibbly, uh, I was going to do a body color with Coloring with K. Um, because she mentioned in a, a video what she would like to color in the next month and I saw she wanted to do a Thomas Leftomic page. I contacted her and she was already starting the elephant page so I thought okay uh, I will participate but I didn't have the inspiration and the time to finish it so I thought okay I will transfer it to the month of March and I still hadn't got any inspiration and I was chatting with Christina from Christina's Art Corner and she said, hey, uh, okay, if you want to start a page, let's do it together. Uh, so we picked a single sided page um, and uh, to not get overwhelmed by the double uh, sided and we chose this page um, or actually I chose this page and she agreed. Um, Okay, I haven't received Christina's um, page, so I cannot comment uh, on how she colored it. But uh, if I will receive it on time, I will put it here on the right of the screen. So you can see uh, what her version is and what mine version looks like. So, um, mine version is uh, was a color palette and I used in the background uh, soft pastels. Um, I erased uh, some white spots to to give the illusion of clouds. Um, the purple flowers are based with Durant ink tents um, and a little bit of pencil work in the middle. Um, the orange and the grey of the mushroom is also based with uh, Durant ink tents and I went with um, polychromos on top. Um, the greenery on the page is based with water-based markers and polychromos on top. The mouse, mice, what is the plural, mice, mice, um, are done with the Derwent ink tents as well. Uh, the strawberries, um, the rest is uh, the, the baskets and all the woodwork is based with water-based markers and polychromos on top. Uh, the fairy is uh, just done with um, coloring pencils. I outlined her wings with some white Posca. Actually, I used white, white Posca on the whole page. Um, and then I used a glitter gel pen, a gold glitter gel pen for some accents um, on the page. So the border is done with glitter, um, the windows, the, what is this? the, the door the straps on these mice so yeah that's it i think so i first colored the image because it was very difficult to figure out what was grass what was sky um yeah it was very difficult and then i went um between everything with a cotton pad and some um some soft pastels um so you can actually do it later on um, but yeah that's why i chose the background green and blue so when it went over the the picture it wasn't like a big coloring difference so i'm very happy with how this one came out so thank you christina for the body color and now I have finally finished one in the Tommy's Leftomic book. I did a lot of pages uh, last year and then at a certain moment I just stopped coloring in this book. And I went afraid again of tackling a page. Um, but this paper is wonderful. It just takes every medium. Um, you just have to concentrate on one element at a time and don't get overwhelmed by all the details and all the greenery. Just start and see whatever um, your mood takes you. So this is Dromevanger by Thomas Laftomik. And the last page I did, this is a huge coloring book, so I cannot get it totally on the screen, but it is uh, The Animal Quirkles by Thomas Pavetti. So um, I did a lot of detailed pages this month and sometimes I just want to put some color to the paper and then I was gravitating to this book. And um, I already did two pages in it. I'm working in order. 
So the next um, page I did was this one. I hope you can all see. Yeah, it's okay. So this is um, the horse page. I chose uh, a lot of different shades of gray because I'm not gravitating towards uh, that color a lot. Um, yeah, the result is okay. I don't like the streaking of the water-based markers, but I'm going to try for the next one to use some alcohol markers to see what the difference is. Um, but some elements are very small and I don't know if this paper is going to give some bleeding on the alcohol markers. It's, it's very porous, so maybe we'll have a chance for that one. So yeah, this is just a color by number book and uh, yeah, it's a horse page, so I don't know what to say else about it. So that was the Thomas Pavetti Quercals, uh, the animals one. So those were my coloring pages for this month. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so other people can find this video as well. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.